So we kick this one off just by making a marinade for the lamb shanks. So I'm just gonna go in with a couple of tablespoons of yogurt and then about a tablespoon of curry mix. So this is a blend of garam masala, turmeric, chili powder, green and black cardamom and a few other spices so you can pretty much put your own combination together this one is actually made for fodmaps so it doesn't contain any garlic or um, onion powder so we have to add that separately so we can put in some garlic and a teaspoon of ginger so you can give that a mix and then we can just spread it over our lamb shanks. So by adding yogurt, you get 20% more penetration into the meat. So it works really well for, um, for the marinade to be able to use the yogurt in it. So if you can set this up and then put it ahead of time, either a few hours or ideally overnight, you can then um, get a much deeper flavor into these. So we can just, Rub it all over. And then as soon as we've got those in the marinade, I've got some diced onion here. We can go in with ginger, garlic, the spice mix again, and then add a few other things. So let's just jump over to the stove. So to make it easy, I'm just gonna do it direct in a roasting pan. So we can fire that up and then go in with some oil. And then we can put that onion straight in, start cooking those down. And then once they're cooked down, then we can start adding everything to it to layer up those flavors. So you just get a much better level of spice and everything else going in there. So once my onions have started to soften, we can go in with some garlic, pretty much about the same amount. So a teaspoon of each, a bit more of ginger. I like my ginger. Mix that in. And we just want to soften those onions so you don't have any crunchy bits afterwards. So you're just going to have a really nice, chunky, but still smooth sauce. So ginger and garlic are in, and then we can just go in with our spice mix. So a decent tablespoon there. And then we're just going to fry this off quickly. And then we can go in with our shanks. So just get that in, not to waste any of it. And then we get, get some nice color on these lamb shanks. So we can turn up the heat a little bit. Just be careful that the onions don't catch. So just keep them on the move if uh, they're looking like they're gonna stick. Or if it's easier for you, just get a frying pan, do them separately, and then add it into it afterwards. Just so, uh, you know, if you're not confident enough, it's just an easier way to do it without taking that risk of burning your onions. So you can pretty much just move the shanks around and as long as they're not sticking, then they're not gonna be burning. And then once your shanks have got some nice color on, we can, Go in with some stock. There's about 300 mils of stock in there. One can of tomatoes. And I've got half a can of coconut cream. So that can all go in. You can bring that to the boil. And then I'm just gonna pick some coriander leaves. The leaves I'm gonna keep back for garnish when it's finished just to uh, toss through it at the very end but to not waste the stems we can just chop those up really finely and put those in so can just pick those leaves quickly can chop the stems up finely and then they can go straight in And then once this is up to temperature, we can just get some foil over, turn the heat off, just pin it down. 
And that's going to take about an hour and a half in the oven. And they will be falling off the bone. So that can go straight in. It's set at 150. So we can check back after an hour and a half. So my lamb shanks have been in for almost an hour and a half. So I want to add a mint element to go with that lamb. So what I'm going to do is I've got an avocado here. We're going to make up like a avocado, mint and coriander puree to go with it. So we can just snap out the seed of the, the avocado and then scoop that around. And quite simply, just coriander, mint, some lemon juice. So you can just squeeze that through my hand, catch any seeds. So we've got an acid element just to give it some lift. So a decent half a lemon. These are super, super juicy lemons off the tree outside. My leftover coriander can go straight in. And then I've got some mint that we can just tear off. So we can just tear it. Don't worry, the thick stems, you can just get rid of those. But otherwise, the top part will just be good to tear off and throw in. So you can stick that on and then just blend it nicely. And that's it. Once it's nice and smooth, just give it a try. See how it is. So I'm going to add some more lemon juice. You can go in with a little bit of salt. And I'm just going to add a touch of cumin. So once that's on, just give it a blend just to uh, mix it up. It'll only take a second. One last try. Awesome. That's got some zing to it now. That's that. That can sit on the side and then we grab our lamb shanks and see how they are. And these smell awesome. It smells amazing. So let's just have a look at these. And they look good. So the sauce needs a bit of reducing just to thicken that gravy up. So I'm just going to put it on the heat. And once that's nicely reduced, they're pretty much good to serve. So one last taste. A bit of salt in that over that. Just give them a, a toss so it's mixed up. And they are good to serve. So I'm just gonna grab this bowl. You can just stick one in there. And then really, really thick gravy. You can spoon that over. And that's it. So I normally serve this with a roti, my spring onion roti, but I haven't made them today, but I'm gonna link the video in the description with the timestamp to take you to that, because that's a tasty little number. So I've just got these rotis today to uh, just show you how it is. So you can just throw that on the grill to warm up for a second. And then I've got my lamb to go with my mint and avocado coriander puree. Give it a nice char and then literally just chop it up into pieces and stick it in. So it's a great little way to uh, serve it up easy. Just bang it in something rotty and then spoon it on top. Bit of gravy. Boom, nice cooling element. Bang that in, it is an awesome little number. It tastes the as, really easy, really quick to get 
on the go, hour and a half in the oven, and then you're pretty much set to serve. Packet of rotties, a two minute puree to go with that, and just a, a fact of cooking off some simple plain rice, just to uh, give that carb element for filling. So give this recipe a go, it's an awesome little number. If you're FODMAP, I will link to the spice mix below because it is a great one and very rare to find it without onion powder and garlic so a tasty little number there so give it a go comment below let me know what you think and until then i will see you in the next video